Hey everyone, it's uh, Software Dev Jason here, and I'm going to show you a few videos. This may be a little mini series about um, some of the tools that I have salvaged uh, recently. This is one box of about a dozen boxes of tools. I'm still working on cleaning up a lot of stuff. I've got some really cool, cool stuff. This is the one I'm going to start with because it's the one I started cleaning up first uh, for no other reason. And um, I haven't really went through any of this stuff, but um, so besides to clean it so I haven't sorted anything it's still kinda how it was when I when I found it um, again this isn't everything that I found but it is a few um, uh, it is what's in this box and this box I've cleaned everything so to start with uh, well before I show you any tools uh, these these all these tools that that I'll show you in this series were um, were found in a building on the uh, property that I live in right now that I bought uh, this property was my uh, uh, grandmother's and grandfather's property. We fixed it and we remodeled the, the house. Uh, and so these all came out of my grandpa's workshop, all these tools. And um, the, it's been probably uh, 15, 20 years that the tools had been sitting in there. Uh, it wasn't an airtight building uh, by any means. It leaked a lot. Everything was rusted very bad. Um, and these these weren't organized. I don't even think they were in this box originally. They were in a, a homemade wood box. But um, yeah, so a little little backstory on where these tools come from. They, they these all are my grandfather's tools, which is one of the reasons I'm trying to salvage them. The other reason is that they are actually um, pretty high quality tools. Um, a lot of American made stuff, which is it's always good to have. So to start with, we have two sets of Allen keys here. This is a small set. This is uh, made by Dunlap. Uh, it's USA made. Um, just several little Allen or hex keys on here. Um, yeah, that's the sizes. Uh, here's another set. Uh, these are significantly bigger. Uh, and we all kind of have these kind of things already, but I'm not going to complain about having duplicates of anything. Um, this is made by Eklund Tools, uh, made in USA. Sizes from three sixteenths up to three eighths, so pretty good. All right, now we got some interesting stuff here. This had, I think, these two ratchets. This box had like these two ratchets. Well, the box this came out of had these two ratchets in it. Uh, this is an old, um, uh, we'll see, the Challenger series. This was made by Proto. So Proto had a Challenger series, they may steal, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is a Proto Ratchet. Um, it was completely locked up, and I mean completely locked up. And uh, it wouldn't turn either way. Uh, this, this, It wouldn't uh, turn either. So I took the circlip out and pulled everything out, cleaned everything, um, and greased everything with Super Lube, so th which is a synthetic type of lube. It's pretty, it's pretty good for ratchets. Um, and it is, uh, works really well now. So, yeah, very nice. Um, and this was obviously made in the USA as well. So, very cool. Um, the other ratchet that was in this, the box that this stuff came out of was, uh, was an old Craftsman. Um, so this was part number V44975. This is this one. Obviously, back in a time when everything Craftsman was still made in the USA, this was completely locked up too, and I'm pretty proud of this one because this one is actually extremely smooth now. I mean, this is better than some of my newer wrenches. I mean, this is nice. So this one is going to get put back to use um, immediately. So I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, this is awesome. Um, so basically, I, I took that that uh, that um, circle clip out there or the grip clip or whatever they're called took the back side off completely disassembled this one and greased it with super lube um, and it is smooth very smooth and these um uh, these models used to this came with a uh, like a Euler ball on the top and you see you can see the print or the stamp in there it says oil um uh, it was bone dry obviously and full of rust and grime but uh yeah i thought that's pretty interesting but yeah, this is going to get put to use almost immediately. Um, the other things that were in the box that this stuff came out of was kind of a mix. Um, it looks like there were several different sets of tools at one point in time. 
um, and they're all mixed together. I'm hoping I can when I start cleaning everything else up, I'll come across uh, full sets. That would be really cool. But uh, for the most part, it's a mix of Craftsman, um, Sparta, and Proto. Yeah, Craftsman, Sparta, and Proto in this box. And I'm hoping I find all that stuff. Um, yeah, there's a Proto socket there. You obviously got some Craftsman wrenches. These were. These are the old Craftsman wrenches. I'm guessing these are from like the 70s or 80s. Um, yeah, they cleaned up really well. Most of the stuff was like rust, surface rust on everything. Um, so I was pretty happy to get it clean. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know, that doesn't have a brand. That may come with some kind of uh, some kind of piece of equipment or something. Um, I haven't went through all this stuff. But, um, yeah, most of it was pretty cool. Um, there's a Crescent brand. And, and that's nice to see on all this stuff, too. Made in the USA. Um, it's very cool. It's Challenger or Giller, but I don't know what it is. Oh, got a Mac tool here. Interesting. I haven't seen a lot of this stuff. This is the only Mac tool in this box. But yeah, this stuff is nice. Um, it's all usable, even though it's old. There's a little quarter inch drive socket wrench, which is always good to have. Uh, some of this stuff I can probably take a wire wheel to and clean it up even better. Uh, I think uh, how I got them into even this good of a condition, I think uh, I used uh, CLR. I think I soaked them in CLR overnight. That ate a lot of the rust off, but it does leave uh yeah, that it leaves kind of a black uh residue on there. I might can can get that off with the wire with I don't know. But anyway, that's the um that's the first box in this little series and I'm gonna show you of tools that I've salvaged and tools that will uh definitely get used again. Um, cool. Thanks for watching.